Hello everyone! In my previous video I talked a lot about modern robotics and fakes in it. And I promised then in the next video I will tell you much more about what good stuff. Let me briefly discuss you why the modern robotics is cool, what interesting is happening here and what to expect in the next few years. Prices. It's dramatically fall. Like even four years ago, the price for robotic arm fall like mm, to 10k USD. If we check like prices 10 years ago, it was 50,000 or so. And today you can buy a pretty good robotics arm for 205,000. This one. And you can buy an arm with pretty big range with 5 kg of weight for 9k. Such arms, they were super expensive a few years ago. And both of these arms, they are super nice and super good for modern computer vision robotics and other stuff around. How much does a full robot cost today? I told you last time that you can buy any of these robots for 20k like Tesla promised, for maybe 40k like others promised, but actually the price is falling for them and maybe what is more important, you can easily buy such robots today. Maybe like it's not full robot, but check this. For example, like Poland Robotics robot 35k. Also you can check like uh, the real man, for example, this one is 35k or like the full-sized robot, it's around 70k. And also you can check like AG bots, which are should be pretty cheap and pretty popular. There are a lot of examples today where the price dramatically falling, but robots aren't the only thing that's gotten better. Algorithms. Look at what we did in our startup four years ago. Back then we created our own algorithm which allow us to train on small subset of samples, like around my, maybe uh, 50 or 100. And nowadays you don't even need some complicated algorithms for this. You can take like foundational models like DynaV2, Florence, Clip and many others. And just with two or three examples, it's enough to set up such a robot to do some easy tasks. But foundational models, they were like popular maybe few like one year ago, two years ago. I had a lot of videos about them on my channel. Today, it's more popular to use some language models with, of course, visual part and, of course, like some common part. I had a video about RT2. It was maybe a few years ago when it appeared and it was like first experiments. But today there is a full new group of algorithms that allowing you to program your robots directly like from visual part to command and just to train the sequences. Of course I already mentioned in previous video like Aloha but check this out. It's like open VLA and the general idea of such models, it's like direct training from a visual part, like visual sequence to robotic sequence of the hand. And it's actually work quite nice. Another fresh thing, a new model P0. Uh, it recently was released. Uh, I think there will be another video about this model on my channel. So please subscribe if you're interested in this. But let's check a little bit about these models and how they work. In previous video, I mentioned that, for example, like for Aloha, that it's not very stable. The accuracy is limited. It doesn't work with complex tasks. But of course, such models, they unlock a lot of applications. For example, one of the first commercial solutions that I saw like two years ago, and I think it actually was one of the first companies that did something with such types of models. It was Futuruka, uh, so pretty nice examples. And it's, as far as I understand, it's end-to-end -end trained. As far as I know, they were acquired, but 
actually I like they didn't update anything lately. And another solution, it's like from my friends from Weed. And as you can see, it's also all these sequences, they are one shot trained and it's super easy to like direct stream this visual environment to like set of commands. And actually such models, they are working pretty nice for simple cases where you don't need like the complex navigation, maybe the complex uh, tasks, collect a uh, hundred of samples and fine tune your model or where you just have super simple environment. It's super easy to use such models for such tasks. In general today, you such robots, they starting to work stable for simple cases. Of course, like the more complex tasks, the less you have samples, the less stable this robot will be. But for such simple tasks, they start unlocking a, new, a lot of new works where you can run such robots. Maybe some simple manipulation like cafe, maybe some mm, simple workstations. I expect that within a few years we will see a lot of application of such robots in our daily life. And maybe like in 10 years, we will have like Teslas and more complex robots that will be in every house. But right now it's look super perspective. There are already a lot of business cases where such stuff is start working. But of course, like it's not about super general tasks. It's more about like solving specific tasks and amount of such task, it's much bigger than it was even two years ago.